Hi, I'm Paris, and my favorite piece of cookware in our kitchen is our Copper Crisper. It's an As Seen on TV product, a little tray with a basket that's mesh that you can put foods in to cook that you would normally fry in oil, but this way you can sort of air fry them in your oven. They come out tasting great and much healthier. The problems with it are that it's fairly small size and you can only put one layer of food in it, unless you want to take it and stir it out every few minutes. The other thing is that since it goes in the oven, you have to preheat the oven first, so that's five to 10 minutes before you can even get the food cooking. Now, wouldn't it be great if they had a countertop version of that? Just a little box that replicated the inside of your oven and used the hot air passing over the food to cook it in a healthy way without any oil. Turns out that's what an air fryer is. And I've been debating for the past year whether to go buy a couple more copper crispers and just line them up next to each other in the oven or to actually bite the bullet and buy an air crisper to try it out, see if this is really the perfect thing for the type of cooking that we do. Well, the decision was made for me. The Jesse Company very kindly sent me out their model of air fryer to try. It has a three and a half quart capacity, which seems to be pretty good size for a family of four. Easy to use controls and some good safety features. So this is the weekend we find out if this is going to become our new favorite appliance. Thanks again to the Jesse Company for sending us out their air fryer to try. It goes for about $90 and you can find out more about it at the link down below this video. I've actually had this sitting in the dining room for the past few days and everyone has been asking excitedly, when are we going to get to give this a try? Well, here it is. On the top is a dial. That's your temperature control. Goes from 180 Fahrenheit up to 390 Fahrenheit. On the front is a timer, maximum of 40 minutes you can set it for. And this is the food tray. Ooh, that's a lot of space in there. That's actually pretty big. With a hidden button that I just discovered. Press that with your thumb. And this portion lifts out, so this is the actual maximum capacity, but you'll probably be using it with this tray because it's less likely to stick if it's on this surface. You're looking up inside the chamber here. Here's the heating element. It's electric operated, uses just under 1500 watts. And up above that is the fan. I don't see any vents or air outlets in the tray or the drawer here. So the air I'm guessing comes down around the food and then comes up on the outside, gets pulled back in, heated up as it gets blown back over the heating elements. Here on the bottom, the cord management is nice. It wraps around this portion here and then it runs out and catches on this, so you can have just as much cord as you need to plug it in. With these two simple controls and easy to pull out tray for shaking the food or flipping it around, should be pretty easy to use, but I have my reading material here that came with it, a recipe book, as well as the detailed instructions, a quick start guide. Three chicken strips and an order of fries and the copper crisper fits like this. In the air fryer, you have more room vertically, but not so much room horizontally. I'm going to set both of these for about 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Now the oven needs to be preheated, so that does give the air fryer a head start. I'm waiting for the oven to preheat. Get this started. Slide that in, it's plugged in. Set the temperature for the maximum, which is 390 in 20 minutes. Feels like it's on a spring in there. And it's ticking. And the fan is blowing. I'm curious how hot the surface of this is going to get. Around and back where that vent is, there's cool air blowing out at the moment. Okay, nearly done. I meant to come about halfway through and do the shaking thing. I'm wearing a oven mitt now. Let's see about shaking it. Shaking it now. Okay, that shuts it off. Oh, looking pretty good. How am I supposed to flip it? I guess you're supposed to actually tip it out and put the contents back in. I imagine just flipping it in place, but that's not going to happen. As for the temperature, the handle is okay. The side of the tray, yeah, it's very hot. Plastic body's hot there. That's not burning hot, but pretty warm. 
and I had this back closer to the wall and I put my hand back there about 10 minutes in and it was incredibly hot on the wall. It's blowing very hot air out right here, so I moved it further away. That's the sound it makes when it's done. I missed recording that originally. Here is the food from the air fryer. In about two minutes, the food from the oven will be done. And the copper crisper food. Did take a little bit longer. Looks pretty good though. I found taking out the chicken strips that they do stick just a little to that metal mesh. So that's going to involve some washing. Let's see about this one. Yeah, it does leave a little bit of it there. And the fries are really extra crispy. Mm, yeah, this is where putting a little oil on. Well, not too bad. A little oil on in advance would help. Now for the taste test, the chicken strip from the copper crisper in the gas oven. Juicy. It's usually very good. And the chicken strip from the air fryer. Feels firmer. Mmm. I actually like that a little better. It's crispier and, and more sealed up on the outside and juicier inside. It's good. Now for the waffle fries. This is from the copper crisper in the oven. It's not too crispy. But tastes fine. And I noticed the fries in the air fryer, they really got crunchy fried. Very crunchy. If you like your fries crun crunchy, air fryer will do that for you. If you like them softer, having them in the oven, they seem to come out a little bit softer. Next up, I'm going to try some beer battered fish fillets for 20 minutes. Okay, after 20 minutes, they're looking nice and crispy. All right, let's see how easily these come out. Mmm. Uh -oh. There's some sticking going on. So you do still have to deal with that issue, even with an air fryer. And underneath the basket, there will likely be drippings to clean up later as well. Well, after eating the fish sandwiches that I made from those fish fillets, I don't mind cleaning the mess up. They were so good, really crispy. And it's funny because when I went from just baking things in the oven to the copper crisper tray, one of the things I really liked is that the foods were much more crispy. They would sometimes come out of soggy just being baked, but this is going to a whole new level of crispiness with the air fryer. Thanks again to Jesse for sending me out their model of the air fryer to try. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. And I think we found a new permanent addition to our kitchen countertop. Epic review.